what's going on guys welcome to the channel um as the title of the video says my brother got a free pit bike and we're gonna go over that pit bike and show you what it's all about and how lucky he turned out he actually got two but one was in like four boxes so i don't know if you want to count that as a pit bike but there's almost enough parts to build one and then we'll show you mine towards the end of the video so this is my brother brian and How you doing? this is the bike that he got for free you want to tell him about it we believe it is a 2008 possibly 2009 pitster pro x4r 150 um i actually got lucky on this bike um my uh brother-in-law had it and um i didn't know much about bikes or anything and i was interested in getting it off him and he pretty much hooked me up with it now it's you know the typical case of people not taking care of their bikes yeah it's got freaking skid plates um, all tore up everything is wiring's hacked pretty much yeah everything is pretty what would you much say this thing probably sat outside or covered in mud most of its life yeah it sat outside for a good portion of its time all the plastics some faded the uh anodized red chalk cap fork caps are faded it was covered in mud we Fucking did spray it off like locked it's got the kinks um, in it like permanent kinks that are coming out so that thing's junk yeah it had no oil in it it did have it did have a carburetor on it but it did not have a slide in it the yeah so it was filter, just the top of the carburetor was sitting open yeah and it had a actually it did have an air filter on it which i was really surprised because a lot of that kid <laughs> stuff does not have air filters and he wonders why they keep blowing up but anyway so i was looking at the air filter and i was real surprised but it needed clean and it had no oil in it well i seen there was a big slit in the air filter and i looked in there with a flashlight there was a giant wolf spider sitting on a nest of wolf spider eggs so i chucked Yummy. that thing out in the yard and it's been there ever since yeah so i mean it's it's a good start it's mostly complete what it didn't come with a throttle um like i said the top of the carburetor was open um doesn't have didn't have an axle for the front or did have an axle but i took that when i built my klx out of parts from the other pitster pro did not have a front disc yeah didn't have a front disc on the wheel no all the bearings were fucking were blown yep uh no rear disc <clears throat> um the rear master cylinder is completely yeah it's shot. blown out or rusted Rusty. um no rear caliper oh yeah we gotta um, well, you have one right yeah we just I gotta have, piece yep. this all together as we as we rebuild it yep and we are uh actually gonna build this for the team prime uh bike, Cam the camera neiman build, build off for camera <coughs> Um, we're real excited to do it. The original plan was to have this bike completely stripped down and redone top to bottom to take down to Florida because uh, my brother... Yeah, my dad has a track in his backyard that's uh, in the Florida Pit Bike Nationals. There's a race down there. It's four race series. They do it every winter. Um, we were with my KLX that I had. I no longer have that. My brother was going to build this 155 and we were going to take the KLX and the Pitster Pro down and r run at least the race at my dad's house. Um, just because we're in Pennsylvania and we wouldn't be able to make, um, each race for the four months. But hopefully in the future, if things, you know, pan out good and we're able to get time off of work and maybe next year we can run all four races. That would be pretty sweet and be good content for you guys. Um, I, yeah, I mean. I also thought about getting the bike down there for that race, which is January 25th, 2020. 
Um, the first race in the series is January 11th. Obviously, I didn't plan on making that one, but I was hoping to make the second one and then leave my bike down there and maybe fly down for each weekend of the next two races after that. Um, being there, you know, several weeks apart. Um, but unfortunately, with life and uh, things like that, responsibilities and kids and, and money, jobs, uh, we weren't able to get even started on this bike. So, <coughs> here a couple months later, we, you know, finally but getting into it. That's what it's about. I mean, it's winter time for us, snowy, crappy weather, which you'll see when we go outside to look at my bike. Um, we don't have a problem riding that stuff. But this is the time of year to take advantage of being indoors and spending the time to really tear your bike down, clean it up, fix anything that's wrong with it, get it dialed in for spring. So come springtime, you know, you can enjoy it more than you're working on it. Um, but this should be a pretty informative entertainment channel. Um, we're going to build both pit bikes and potentially do something with all the parts from the other pit bike and different builds, big bikes. He's got foolers that are here, and uh, we always got access to all kinds of crazy stuff. So, yeah, cars, we're going to... RC cars. Yeah, he's real big into RC cars. I mean, if you guys can't tell, he's yeah, got... It's mostly a bunch of junk there, but... He's got um, all kinds of RC stuff. Uh, he's got this bad Larry here. This thing's pretty intense. Um, <coughs> that was really your biggest hobby over the last couple of years was these RC yeah, cars. Slowly fading away, got rid of most of the good stuff. Have a bunch of junkier stuff sitting up there, but we got a Proline MT <coughs> four by four. This thing is pretty sick. So. Standing double backflips. It's got a yeah. This thing's wild. I've watched it hit some pretty nasty jumps. Tekken RX8, ESC Tekken T8, 1900 kV motor. It's and this dirty is what right now, but Pro Line's last year model. Yes. They made yep. last year because he had it brand new when we went to Florida. Because my dad used to race RC yeah. cars too. And then this thing's pretty rowdy. It's a pretty yeah, big it's machine. Traxxas X Max few upgrades here the pro line pro armor body both of these are pretty dirty because uh i haven't been into it like i used to be but they would get <coughs> tear downs regularly all the bearings cleaned and uh you know completely taken care of every few weeks but uh you know these days they got a lot going on so yeah but, That's cool. So we should have some cool stuff for Yeah, see, it looks kind of normal with the plastics on it, but she's a full-blown project at this moment. He got it not even knowing if it ran because the carburetor was messed up. And then I ordered him a car, but it wasn't big enough, so it was able to get him to start it, but it wouldn't run on it. And then he ordered, uh, what do you got, a Nibby racing carb. There's the part number. If you guys are interested, are, you want to show them the carb? It's pretty. These are pretty, pretty nice carbs, actually. It's pretty um, trick. I like all the anodized. You can get them on Amazon. This is a Nibby 26 millimeter carb. The insides are machined and polished. Um, very nice quality. Um, the slides polished, all anodized. Um, so by the carb is the seam gonna be kind of red and whatever or um, you're not sure on that yet maybe we get that stuff changed thinking, I would like to do a different anodized color but being that this carb only comes with red anodizing <coughs> um, I think what I'm gonna do is mostly black this anodizing is a, this is the Makuni knockoff that I bought for him to try mostly black anodizing um the marzachi front forks that 
originally came on these X4Rs in 2000. Yeah, that's the thing. So some of you pit bike riders are going to argue that fact, but these bikes did come the top model. You had the option on these X4Rs back in 0809 to get Marzucci forks with them. You can show them right here in the graphics. And I mean, they rep it in the graphics. I know anyone can do that, but they did come with the option of Marzucci forks. So I know a lot of guys wanted to argue with me about that a few months ago, but it was a standard option. We, uh, yeah, we did a lot of research and um, figured out that that is in fact what was <coughs> going on here. Now the rear shock was uh, actually- That's, They're what, basically a D&M? Yeah, they're- With the Pitster logo? Yeah, this was uh, originally Pitster's um, own shock here. And then which is the got, basically the exact same thing as the dnm which is still a good yeah, quality it's got fanned out now another, that's crazy the tire must have been rubbing it no this is from the mud guard from the mud guard the that's some serious yeah. wearage yeah. you guys can see that yeah that's crazy yeah. Yeah, so, so i wonder what gonna, that says about the quality you know what i mean okay, not knocking it because yeah. It is decent. It's a cheap upgrade for a lot of guys with KLXs and stuff like that to keep, you know, under budget and get a decent shock. But that's interesting. But, uh, but yeah, with the red anodizing that already has come on the bike and the carburetor, I think <coughs> we're going to keep the anodizing between red and uh, black anodizing. But um, And we'll figure that out as we go. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just, it's still up in the air. We got a lot of plans. A lot of things to go on but i think we'll go out and check my bike out here real quick and um we'll go from there so you come out here into my brother's garage all this is my brother's house i live far away so i come up on the weekends we got a 05 06 04 04 i didn't know they did the kickstart in 04 yes, or was it 04 05 they did the kickstart 05 06 they did the you could get kickstart or and electric. Uh, or so this is a 450 for you those of you who are wondering <coughs> that's a pretty decent machine yeah unfortunately we had a couple <coughs> real nice little <coughs> um, i'm sick by the way you can hear me cough we uh just recently got rid of they would have been nice and we got what a, a polaris predator or is this an outlaw an this outlaw is an outlaw what's that 500 yes, this, this thing's been outside sitting outside for outside. this thing's been outside for what a couple months now a couple months it's we got to get it inside it's a it's not ours it's a uh, guy he works with but it's just been sitting out here it's a beater quad they picked it up one day quick and in a hurry to get to a poker race and i mean he it did. made it through the race surprisingly yeah, we did all we did was check the oil and he ran it and it made it 30 miles <coughs> through the whole ride. So, <coughs> these bikes are going to look very similar, these pit bikes. But mine is an SSR 160TX, which is the race model, the upper model for the SSR. The I would say the best quality bike they made. Now they're making the 170s, which same thing but different engine. But mine is an OS, or, uh, 2016. I picked it up three days ago as it sits mud and all um this thing's gonna get uh completely redone too over this winter it's in the state of running and riding i rode it the other day at my house just up and down the road to make sure it was good um it's got a 160 engine <coughs> the marzucci knockoff forks which are still pretty decent they hold my weight i'm like five six two hundred and 20 230 pounds and it mobs around it needs a rear shock it's like blown out once it compresses it takes a while to spring back maybe we can rebuild it i don't know if that's something you guys maybe would want to see <clears throat> yeah he had it he said he had it like hard to medium and i messed with it a little bit try to get it to spring back but i just think it's old and blown out or maybe just all the mud on it that's probably been on it since it was first rode by whoever um big things is on the carburetor it won't idle right now because that bolt is snapped off in the head uh, right there so I'll have to get that taken out to get it to idle but I'm gonna clean it off and uh, real quick I'll do a startup for you should be good they come up it fired up first kick when you brought it
Yeah, with that piece being, that bolt being broke off, it's just sucking air on the other side of the carburetor, so it's probably running super lean. That's why it's popping a lot. And it sat out here in the cold for a while. Yeah, I warmed it up earlier. Um, It's crazy, it fired up first kick and ran beautiful. SSR 160. Um, we'll get it cleaned up in a comparison of the 155 in the next video. You guys have a good day. Catch you in the next one.